is happening? We, oh, what's going on there? Welcome to your vape at five. I am your host. I'm Black Cat. Before we get started, look, I vape, I vote. Mark sent me this shirt and I, I, I had to wear it. And I got a coat on. It's a little chilly in the vape shop today. It's a little chilly, so I got a little uh, jacket on, but I'm not hiding the fact that I vape and I vote. What is happening, everybody? I've got a review. A review. <laughs> review for you, Wired G. Wired with, with uh, Big G. I got a review for you today of the Ohana RDA. This RDA. Ooh, there it is. Look at that little beauty. Right there, it says Ohana. Let me turn it ever so slowly. There you go. The Ohana RDA. This is by, as you know, Johnny Drips. And... Heavy Metal Vapor, put together by AI Vape. New, new company, not too familiar with. I don't know if I've ever had any of their products. I'm not sure, but they worked very well and uh, worked very well with Johnny and Heavy to make sure this project came out absolutely perfect. I'm going to show you the RDA today. I'm going to talk a little bit about it. I used it for about two weeks. I, I was going to review it last week, but since I was ill, I missed it. So I actually vaped it for two straight weeks. Uh, so I've got a pretty good user experience with it. I'm going to show you what you get with it. We're going to talk a little bit about it. Then I'm going to rate it. And we're going to get out of here. Thanks, everybody, for joining. So without further ado, let's take it down to the table. Let's take it downtown. Downtown Chinatown. Let's take a look at the Ohana RDA. Here we go. It's my camera. I'm moving that out. This cord's not going not gonna to work. That cord's got it. That cord's got to move. Can't be in the way. <laughs> Impeding progress. <laughs> wow, that was a quick transition. Holy cow, there we go. All right, so when you purchase the Ohana RDA, this is the box you're going to receive it in. It says Ohana RDA is designed by, as I mentioned, Heavy Metal Vapor and Johnny Drips, put together by AI Vape, and it gives you both their logos there and a picture of the RDA. Side here, nothing. Ohana, nothing. And then a uh, website for consumer information on AI Vape Tech. Back here, it's going to tell you what you get with the RDA. You're going to get the Ohana RDA, a couple of Allen keys, screws, pre-made coils. I verified these coils are not made by Johnny Drips, if you're wondering. They are just regular coils made by a regular guy, no Johnny. Uh, one, they give you two different top caps. They give you a PC top cap and they give you a stainless steel top cap. Uh, squonk pin, O-ring set, and coil measurement to tool or a coily. Inside the box here, I'll show you everything that you get. So here is the second cap. <clears throat> now this cap measures, comes in at 25 millimeters when on the device. The stainless steel one is very, very similar, but it's in two parts. And I'll show you that. And it's 24 millimeters there. It says Ohana on it. If you like that uh, clear view, so you can see your coil and see uh, everything about it. And if you want it to be 25 millimeters, this is for you. you place it on there. Very super, super nice touch. As I mentioned, one thing about newer RDAs and, and incorporating this coily tool, I absolutely love that. I think it's a fantastic idea, especially on these uh, postless decks. It tells you exactly how long you should have your coils to maximize the experience. And I think it is really, really a nice touch and really a fantastic thing to do. In here, you're gonna get two coils. I use those coils, so they're not available. I believe they're just fused Clapton's. Really nice, they came in. I believe they come in at about 0 0.2, 0 0.23 maybe. I'll show you when I get them installed. But uh, really, really nice vape. You're gonna get a couple extra deck screws, some extra O-rings. You're gonna get a gold-plated squonk pen. And then you get your Allen keys for the squonk pin and then one for the deck. I'm gonna take the one for the deck out because I am going to be using that here in a second. So let's take a look at the RDA. So here it is. Here's the RDA. Let me move this down just a little bit and let me focus that in so you get a really, really good look at it here. There we go. That looks pretty good. So one thing you're gonna notice about it right off the bat, it is side airflow, but don't be don't be fooled. It's side airflow with it actually has a little chimney that pushes it to bottom airflow. So what is the what is a good thing about that? Well, it won't leak because you're getting bottom airflow, but it's coming in from the side, so there's no way the juice is gonna climb up and crawl out of that hole. Stainless steel construction, the bottom here. Focus that in. Bottom here, it says AI Vape. 
designed by Heavy Metal Vapor and Johnny Drips. And you get a serial number. Mine is 694. Gold plated 510 pin, which protrudes extremely nicely. Insulated as well there. You can see the little insulation around it. But that protrudes beautiful for a hybrid mod. You would have absolutely no problem at all using that with a hybrid. Top here you get a 810 drip tip. But it is... The O-ring is actually inside the cap there. So you could use any other drip tip you wanted. I'm not a fan. So you got this like coal black uh, Delrin drip tip. Not a fan of it. Um, I didn't actually use this drip tip. Uh, just wasn't really my style. I don't think it looks really great on the RDA like that. I just don't think it matches it well. The drip tip I actually used for it was uh, more of an Altum uh, wide bore type drip tip. This is the drip tip I used on it, and I loved the way that looked. <clears throat> so the cap comes in two pieces. Let's go ahead and take this off for a second. Get this apart. So I'm going to have to pull this off here. There we go. So here's the actual top. So you have the top here, which actually has the airflow hole on it. This is going on the outside of the RDA. Little ridge here on top so you can grab a hold of it nicely. This sits on top of another part, this here, and this is what controls your airflow. So you're just going to put that on there and then turn it just like that to control your airflow. The airflow works really, really nicely. So um, it's really, really easy to adjust and turn. Really good movement on that. So here's the top, nice and concave. And you'll see that nice flat area, good machining on it. Looks really, really nice on the inside there. A little bit of water in there it just came out of my ultrasonic, so excuse that. But one thing this does, and both these barrels do together, is when you place these together and you place this on top of that, it prevents all spit back. And that's one thing you're going to notice about this. I've never had an RDA that actually had zero spit back until I used this one. This RDA, not one time, not a single time did I have any spit back whatsoever. So if that is a concern to you, you do not like spit back, this is certainly an RDA you wanna look at. Um, the design of this cap, keeping that flat, I guess, and then funneling it up through here. Somehow it does it. I'm not exactly sure. I'm sure Johnny and Heavy could both explain why it does that. But whatever it is, they certainly figured it out. So here's the second piece of the RDA. And this is, again, the airflow hole here. This little O-ring keeps the top cap on, gives it enough resistance so you can turn it nicely. And then it says Ohana on there as well. And you'll see here, so this is angled down. The airflow is angled at a 45 degree pitch down. And you'll see that on the deck when I show you. Again, it comes in as a side airflow and goes down onto the coils. Now, it actually comes from the bottom and you'll see that. So put these two pieces back together. You wanna match up those holes as best you can. Turn it on there and you'll see the turn on it is really, really nice. There we go. All right, put that drip tip back on there. Here's the star of the show. So here is the deck. Postless deck, bottom airflow. You're going to see this honeycomb bottom airflow right there. Air comes in here through these holes, pushes it down underneath the coils, and then comes out right there. Got your negative and positive. You're going to want to put your coils in across here, like this here. One coil on this side, one coil on this side. Then you're going to push them towards the center and right over top of that honeycomb airflow. Nice, deep juice well with squonk holes on either side. You can see them there at the bottom of the deck. But that is a really, really deep uh, juice. I did not have any leaking with this at all. But if you do want to squonk it, you've got plenty of room for your juice on either side there. And then again, this really unique airflow can control here, our airflow entry comes down in these two little ramps here, goes underneath here. To manage your coils, you have your Allen key screws on either side, and it is one hole for each leg, making it super nice. And you'll see they're kind of offset. So you know which way to put your coils. You know one coil leg is going to be a little bit different angle than the other, and you know just to put them in just like that. I actually bent mine so they fit in perfectly, but that is how you do it. Double O-ring here to keep the cap on. And then I'm going to give you another look at the bottom here. I don't know how well you could see it when I first showed you. That's the bottom of it there. I think the really important thing to look at, though, on the bottom here is just how well, how nicely that 510 pin protrudes. And, and this is really, one as far as safety on a hybrid mod, this is really something you could certainly look at. 
All right, so let's go ahead and we're going to wick this up. I'm going to use the same coils I used before when I first used this. It was the coils that actually come with it, and I had told you guys that I really had tried to, tried to stick with the coils that come with the device. And the reason being is I feel it gives me a more honest, maybe not honest, but a more authentic user experience than actually going out and using any of the coils that I have. So super easy. You're gonna use the coily tool to cut these, just like that. You're gonna use that coily tool. Once you get them cut, just place it right in there, place your finger on it, and screw it in. I really should invest in my own set of Allen keys. It'd be a little bit easier. These aren't the easiest to manage. I'd really like to have a driver if I could, but this will work. All right, got that installed. Now do the positive side. And there we go, simple as that. I mean, talk about ease of use. This is really one that you, if this is your first RDA, this is certainly one that you could, you could definitely look at. Go down a little bit more so you guys can actually see. Take your second coil here, place it in just like that. Boom, done. Now just take, hold your finger there, hold it nice and tight and screw it in. I mean, I really think they kept that in mind when they made this RDA, that they wanted it to be something that anybody could use with very little bit of experience in rebuildables or no experience in rebuildables, and this is certainly it. It really, really hits that mark. All right, we're just gonna pull that down just a little bit. All right, let's burn this in just for a second. And I wanna see what the, uh, I believe it was 0.2, but let's just verify that. Let me see what this is at. All right, nice and tight on there. Oh, no, 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 0 0.12, my bad. So 0 0.12, whoops, unlock it. There we go, burning nice and even. All right, let's let this cool down just for a second. And then I will wick it up with some of the most religiously blessed cotton face of this earth. It's holy fiber. You, Jane Dodd, you deserve the best of fiber. Yes, you do. All right, put this away. And by the time I get this put away, it will be okay to wick it. All righty, let's get some cotton out here. Some cotton eye Joe. I don't know why that just popped in my head. That is funny. All right, that's plenty. Don't really need a whole lot of cotton with this one either. You're just gonna pack it right into that juice well there. So let's just see what that looks like. All right, that's fine. Do a little Swedish roll here. Get nice and tight. Oops, that may be too big. Hold on, let me give it another little twist. All right, is that gonna fit? Nope. I might have a little bit too much cotton, but that's okay. There we go, that worked. All right, one through. I'll take this other one here. Yep, that should be all right. Now, this might be a little bit too much too, but that's okay. Just gotta roll it a little extra. With this holy fiber, you really don't need a whole lot of it to really get a nice flavorful vape. Yeah, this one may be a little bit too much as well. These coils aren't three millimeter. I don't know exactly, I believe they're two and a half. They're not exactly three, so I always pull enough cotton out for a three millimeter, and it's a little bit too much, but we'll make it work. All right, cut that there. These here. All right, let's fluff it out. I'm gonna pull this over just a little bit, and we're just gonna fluff them out. Let's focus that. There we go. 
Alright. Okay, that looks like that's about right. You just super easy to put your cotton in. Just grab it there and put it right down into the juice well. Like so. Grab this one here. Put it right down into the juice well. Just like so. And that really is that easy. Again, this is this RDA is really for anybody. And that's what I really, really like about it. As well as the flavor. The flavor on it is really nice. And if you if you really hate spitback, I'm telling you, this is the RDA for you. If you do not like spitback, then you are certainly going to be pleasantly surprised using this RDA. Let me clean that up. Let's get those in there. No stragglers. All right. I'm going to be using some Spaceman from Shy Tots. One of the original flavors Jane sent me. This is another one from her builder line. pretty that is that nice golden Woo. all right is it focused in there we go look at that how beautiful that is all right i think we're ready to rock and roll just a little bit more paint them up cap you're just going to set the cap on top and you want to line up the hole with the hole on if you just spin it it will get there there we go and it's there all right let's go back up top and we will talk about the ohana rda Woo! all right so like I said, I've had this for about two weeks. Johnny sent it over to me. Johnny and Heavy sent it over to me to uh, test. I was really appreciative of that. Um, I, I'll tell you, Johnny's first RDA, the Warrior, uh, was was really the first RDA I ever reviewed. And it was the first time somebody ever sent me something to review, and Johnny did that for me. So I uh, obviously really appreciate it. So when he got this one, I didn't know if I'd get it or not, but he sent it to me, and I really appreciate it. Let's take a couple of vapes off of it. You can see some of the vapor production. I can talk about the flavor. No spitback. None. None. Zero. It is a uh, it's a flavorful dry vape. If that is what you're looking for, then that is what this RDA is going to provide. Flavor on it is very, very good. One thing about it, I've got it 115 watts, and I vaped it around there the entire time between 100 and 120. Build in it is a 0.12, but the way that the air chamber works, for some reason, it doesn't get hot. It's not a really, really hot vape. It's a nice, warm vape. It's almost like the perfect temperature. It really is. Um, I think if you go below 100 with the stock coils that they send you, you're going to notice it being a little bit too cool of a vape for my style. When I cranked it up, expecting it to get a little bit more hot and to be a hotter vape, it didn't do that. It, didn't, it wasn't a hot vape. The other part of it, I never really noticed the chamber getting hot. I never really noticed the outside shell getting hot. Maybe the bottom part here gets a little hot, but up top here with that second layer, it doesn't get hot at all. So it does really, really well uh, insulating the heat inside and not transferring the heat to the outside shell. Um, the look of it, I like the look of it. I don't like that drip tip. I just don't like it. Um, but the good news is, and I'll tell you about a deal that you can get with heavy tips with this RDA that would work really, really, really well for you. So I think a heavy tip on this would look fantastic because a heavy tip is more like the style of the drip tip I was using, more of a wide bore with like a bigger base. So it's a little bit uh, sexier uh, drip tip for it. Airflow on it, airflow design, putting that airflow right underneath it, you really get the full flavor of the juice you were using. 
Um, the coils, as far as their placement, you get that coily tool so you know exactly where they could be. I think you could actually shorten that up a little bit, maybe cut another half millimeter off of it and drop them down a little bit more. It might impact flavor a little bit maybe in the positive, but with the coils where they are from the coily tool, works really, really well. Uh, 24 millimeter RDA, so it's, it's back to the 24 millimeter style, which I really, really like. But if you want a 25 millimeter RDA, you just use that PC cap that they give you. Depending on the different one you get, you get a cap with each one, I believe in the black one, I think you get, yeah, so in the black one, you're gonna get this, the clear cap as well. So you're gonna get a clear cap with it either way. Um, which is really nice, and that's 25 millimeters. So if you have something that you wanna match up size-wise, uh, you can do 24 or 25 millimeters. So let's look at the pros and cons of this device. I'm gonna start out with the cons. Now, the first con is what I mentioned. I don't particularly care for the drip tip. I just don't, um, it just doesn't add anything to it. It feels a bit too tall and kinda of out of place on the RDA. If you guys can feel me on that, I don't know. Now, the good news is, if you buy this from Ranger Vape for 11 extra dollars, I'll give you a heavy tip. Heavy tips are like 20 bucks. So you get it half off. So the, the RDA is 33, and if you can get the, uh, and you get the, the heavy tip for $11 more, I mean, it's 30, uh, $44 out the door, and you're getting a $20 drip tip. So that's a pretty good, that's actually a really, really good deal. And I'm telling you, changing out the drip tip on it would just, for me, make it a lot better looking. When I had the shorter drip tip on it, I really, really liked the way it looked. Um, so that, but that is one of the cons. The standard drip tip with it, not really that great. Here's a con that can also be a pro. I like spit back. I do. I like a wet spit vape. I just do. And that's the, that's the kind of vape that I like. And so I kind of look for that. This one does give no spit back. So if you're not, if you do like spit back and it's not something you don't want to dry flavorful vape, then this is not going to be the RDA for you because that is what it is. You're getting full flavor with no wetness at all from the juice. However they design this, which I, I don't know exactly, must be the two chambers, the way that how flat it is, it does not provide, there's no spit back. There's none. I mean, it's pretty amazing that they did that. I, I'm sure they worked quite a while to figure that out. And it's really the, I'm telling you, it's the first RDA I've ever had that has no spit back. None, like I cannot, it doesn't matter how much you overjuice this thing, it doesn't matter. You will get absolutely zero spit back. Pros for it, flavor. The flavor is really, really good. Um, you get a really great warm, like I said, at 100 to 120 on that 0 0.12 build, you're getting full flavor of your e-liquid that you use, and it's a really, really nice warm, not overly, almost a perfect temperature vape at that level. If you drop it a little bit, the way the chamber is, the way that it insulates that heat, you won't get uh, that warm of a vape. Anything under 100 on a 0 0.1 build, you won't get that warm of a vape. So. If you want a warm vape, either drop your ohms a little bit or raise up your voltage and that'll get you to that point. The look of it, I like the look of it. Like with a with different drip tip on it, I think it looks really, really nice. It's nice and sleek, there's not a whole lot to it. There's not a whole lot on it, like really, it's not overbearing, it just looks like a nice, what you would expect, what I would expect an RDA to look like, just a nice RDA. Uh, the ease of use, I think that's huge. This RDA could pretty much be used by anybody. It really could. Um, it is simple. It's as simple of an RDA as I've ever seen. It really is. Uh, get your coils with it. You put them in the coily tool. You cut it where it tells you to cut it. You drop them in. You put your finger on it. You screw it in with the Allen key they provide you. You burn them in. You wick it, and you're ready to go. That's it. There's no, like, thinking, thought, anything at all. The coils that come with it and most coils that are five wrap are going to fit exactly into those post holes. So you're not squeezing it to get them in those post holes. You're not pulling it apart to get into those post holes. It fits perfectly. Now, if you want to try a single coil vape, it's a little different, but you could do it. You would just have to take your legs and leave them. Instead of bending them to be flat and on the same plane, you would leave them like that and you would just drop it in like that and it would work just fine. The single coil option interests me a little bit because it does put it in the middle of that airflow. So you probably could get a really, really nice single coil vape off of it and you could drop your voltage on it and still get that nice warm vape because you don't need, because the ohms would be higher, so you wouldn't need as much voltage going through it. Something to think about, and I definitely think I will change it over to single coil probably this week just to see how that works. No spit back. So that is a pro as well as a negative depending on your preference. If your preference is not, you don't want spit back, you don't want hot juice in your mouth. I know Tommy likes hot juice in his mouth. Some people don't. 
Some people don't like hot juice in their mouth. If you don't like hot juice in your mouth, this is the RDA for you. There is no spit back. None. None. Doesn't matter how much you lick it. I am a, I am a juice pour. I pour juice in RDAs. I'm a dripper. You guys know that's, that's the style of vaping I like to do. And I pour juice into RDAs. I pour it in. I don't drip. I dump. So, and I'm having no spit back with this at all. On a scale of pour all the way up to excellent, you can't live without it, this is a great RDA. Now, I mentioned the price. The price is $33. I think it is a perfectly priced device. It's one of the few that I actually looked at, it's like this is right in that ball range of what it should actually be. They give you an extra cap, which kind of puts it over $33 in my opinion, but for $33, you're getting the RDA, you're getting coils, you're getting everything that you need, and you're getting a nice uh, PC cap with that as well. That's a pretty good deal. So it's not a stand, it's not an upgrade or anything like that. If you really like the RDA, you're gonna use it all the time. You're gonna want a different cap for it. That's why pi people buy the extras. Normally, those extras are like $19.99 plus shipping. You're getting it all in the original purchase of the RDA. Now, the real benefit to it is if you like this RDA, you wanna buy this RDA, you get a heavy tip for 11 bucks. It's a $20 drip tip. You get it for 11 bucks. So with shipping and everything, it's gonna to get to you with a heavy tip for like 45 bucks. 45 bucks. That's a pretty good deal. And that's something that really, I really, really like. Nice little thing to add to it to, to really give you the give you more benefit for your buck and i think they were really conscious about that when they priced it and then including the heavy tip in there as well i think that was a really cool thing of them to do at ranger vape so you can get that at rangervapes.com so check it out that's where i would buy it at that's the number one place if you google ohana rda then that's the number one place it's going to point you to Thank you guys for watching the review. I, I really hope you guys go out and get this RDA. I think you're really, really gonna like it. Give me some feedback on it if you have one. Put in the notes below, in the, in the comments below, how you liked it and how it worked for you. And uh, so we can get a discussion going on it. I'm gonna go ahead and continue this show. We're gonna do uh, just some talking, I guess. But if you're just here for the review, I appreciate you. Thanks, if you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. It's the best channel on the YouTube, it really is. We vape, we vote. If you like the Cleveland Browns, or you like the Cleveland Browns, you should definitely subscribe. Not many of us, but if you do. So how the hell is everybody doing in the chat? Looks like I've got a few people here. I'm going to go through. I'm going to say hi to everybody that made it through that fantastic. Was that not the best review you've ever seen in your life? Was that not the best review you've ever seen, Bass, Bass Master Cube? Is it bass or bass? Did we, did we clear that up? I never got a message from you. Did I get a message? Did you send me a message? I just didn't see it. Is it bass or bass? I'm betting base. Well, Bassmaster's a thing though. Bassmaster? That's a thing. I'm gonna go back to the chat. Bassmaster, tell me, what is it, bass or base? It doesn't, gr no, it doesn't leak or anything for me at all, Johnny. It doesn't leak or gurgle at all. Not at all. Not at all. And I poured juice. You just saw the juice. I How much juice I poured in there? Listen. Nothing. Nothing. Does not leak, does not gurgle. I mean, it is like literally, I don't know how you did it, Johnny. I don't know how you did it, but it is uh yeah. It's perfect, man. It really is. Fantastic job, sir. Absolutely fantastic. All right, did he put in there is it bass or bass? Bass like in fish. I like that. I like that. I like your style. Bass master Q. That's fantastic. Good to see you, man. I'm super duper pooper. Glad you are here. Big Red Vapor Channel. What's up, Big Red? How you doing, brother? Great to see you. I'm super glad you're here. Now, Big Red, you're a patron. Now, patrons. I've got two of these. I'm giving one of these away on Friday to one of the patrons. So, tune in if you're a patron. On Friday, I'm giving this away. So, you're going to be sent to you, and I'll send it out. I'll pay shipping. I'm going to pay shipping. on It's coming to you. Free of charge for one of the patrons on Friday. I'll be doing that. Uh, I'll be giving it away. So tune in for that. Black Cat Whiteface, that's me. I vape. I fucking vote. You bet your sweet, 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 beautiful ass that I do. I'm going to vote. I'm voting some people out. I, I might go get citizenship in Illinois. That's what I want to do. I want to get citizenship in Illinois because I want to vote Raja out of office. I want to vote Dick Durbin out of office. Vote those guys. I, will ca I would campaign against them. Literally, I would join like, I don't even know who, who they run against. They have like, they run against people, right? I don't even know who they're running against. I'm voting for them. 
But I can't vote because I don't live in Illinois. I need to get Illinois. Does anybody live in Illinois? You can adopt me. I need Illinois citizenship. Post haste. I need a district that, that Dick Durbin represents. And Raja. I think it's the same one, probably. Those guys are all cut from the same cloth. They're dicks. Mm, the lovely taste of coffee. Bones Siskeda. What's up, Bones? How you doing, brother? Great to see you. Glad you're here, man. Thanks for joining. Hope you like that review. It's fantastic, wasn't it? Charlie! How you doing, Charlie? Charlie, do we have a guest for Friday? Do we have a guest? I was going to reply back to you with some ideas. I don't have any ideas. I don't have any ideas. We need to have a guest. We don't really need one. Do we need one? We're pretty good together, just me and you. Just me and you. We could do just the two of us. Getting closer all the time. Just the two of us. You and I. Oh, this show is going downhill quickly, Charlie. I need help. Save me! Dark Side Cole, what's up, Dark Side? How you doing, man? Good to see you, brother. Super glad you are here. Frank Einstein, what's up, Frankie? How you doing, man? Good to see you, brother. I'm super glad you're here. Running chat like always. Good to see you. Bull! What's up, Bull? How you doing, brother? Great to see you. I ordered your uh, your saga today and your Asgard. So, look, it's going to look sweet. It's going to look really sweet, dude. I'm excited for you. I ordered it. Probably be here like... I don't know. Early next week, I'll get it out to you next weekend. Good to see you, man. Thanks for joining. Glad you're here. Ian Thomas. What's up, Ian? How you doing, man? Good to see you, brother. Super glad you are here. Jane Dodd. Love my life. How you doing, Jane? Great to see you, honey. Super glad you're here. Got the Spaceman in here. Let's have, let's have a taste of Spaceman. I will take <laughs> So lovely. That, it's so lovely. It's got a hint. Uh, is there a hint? A hint? Of caramel in there. Is there a hint of caramel in the Spaceman? I'm trying to figure out what it tastes like. My taste buds suck though. I need better taste buds. I've, I've ruined them. Years of alcohol abuse here in my taste buds. Jeff Lawson. What's up, Jeff? How you doing, man? Good to see you, brother. Super glad you're here, man. Thanks for joining. Johnny Drips, the man. What's up, Johnny? Johnny, I'm loving it. Absolutely love it. I'll tell you, I kind of wanted to keep both of them, but I didn't want to be a I didn't want to be a creep and like keep both. So he sent me two RDAs. I kind of wanted to keep both. I like the way they look and they match everything. So I was like, ah. But I decided I'm going to give one away. I can't do both. I can't keep both. That'd be uncool. So I'll probably give it away on Friday. Yeah, I guess I will give it away on Friday. It'll hurt, though. It'll hurt sending it out. I'll be like, I don't want to do that. Joseph Sarah, how you doing, brother? Good to see you, Joseph. Glad you are here, sir. Thank you for joining my brother. Sick boy. What's up, sick boy? How you doing, man? Great to see you as always, dude. Thank you for joining Stand Up 3D. How you doing, Jesse? Good to see you. Got your, it looks like you got your account back. Uh, no, you don't. Wait a minute. Don't have it. I got to give you a wrench. I'll give you a wrench here in a minute. Good to see you. Steven Garlington. What's up, Steven? How you doing, man? Great to see you, brother. Hope things are going well for you. Haven't seen you in a minute. Don't think. But great to see you, man. I am super glad you are here. Thanks for joining, man. Steven Aiken. What's up, Steven? How you doing, brother? Great to see you. Thank you for joining. Subaru Nerd Vapes. What's up, Subaru? How you doing, brother? Great to see you. Glad you're here. There's Stan. Tenacious TX Vapes. What's up, Stan? How you doing, brother? Great to see you, man. Glad you are here. Stan, are you doing anything on Friday? You know, you busy Friday? Like around like 5 o'clock Eastern time? I got a little show. A little show I do. It's called the Vape Hot Tub. It's, what, it's, a, it's the number one show on YouTube, Stan. You want exposure? Do you want to be? Do you want to become the Lady Gaga of YouTube's as I do? Let me tell you. How to do that is to watch, is to get on the Vape Hot Tub. Millions, about hundreds of viewers watch it. Hundreds of viewers. And, and all the important people, all the influencers watch it. No influencers watch it. Not many. I don't think any influencers watch it. It's the most popular show on YouTube, according to me. Good to see you, Stan. Glad you're here. Faceless Vapor, what's up, brother? How you doing, Faceless? <laughs> Good to see you, man. Get your stuff out on Saturday. I haven't forgotten, man. I'll get it out to you on Saturday. Great to see you, man. Thanks for joining. Tommy! To the motherfucking V. What's up, Tommy V? How you doing, my brother? Great to see you, man. Glad you're here. Tyler! <laughs> Tyler Axel Rose. That's Axel Rose's brother. Took on his name, namesake. Good to see Tyler's a better singer, though, than Axel, I think, personally. You should, Tyler, can you sing Welcome to the Jungle for everybody? Sing that. Sweet child of mine. I love to hear that. Good to see you, Tyler. Glad you're here. Wire Talk with Big G. What's up, Big G? How you doing, brother? Great to see you, man. Glad you are here. And my brother from another mother. Just for what take mine. Good to see everybody. Glad you are here. I probably didn't get everybody. Let's go back to the chat. See who I missed. Uh, Cheech! What's up, Cheech? How you doing, brother? Good to see you. Glad you are here. Got Tommy, Tenacious TS Vapes. Hit me up with reminders. Ta okay. 
Not a rumor. Let's say Ian. Uh, I think I got everybody. Looks like everybody's here. <coughs> Tenacious TX Vape is spreading rumors. What's the rumor? Let's go back. Stan pooped his pants. Stan pooped his pants. Stan. <laughs> Pecan fudge. That's what it is. Pecan fudge. Hold on. I taste that now. I taste that now. Pecan fudge. Yeah, I get a really nice aftertaste of fudge. This is really good RDA for flavors. This is a really, really good RDA to like really discover the flavors that you're vaping. It really does a good job of bringing out all the different notes of the juice. I, that's one thing I noticed immediately. Um, a lot of time with a lot of RDAs, and I don't mind it. I don't mind it, but sometimes RDAs, you'll bring out one flavor of a, of a e-liquid. Um, a, good, a good juice for me to test on that is I really know how Turkish case cake taste. For some reason, I can catch all the notes in that juice. It's not that I vape it more than anything else. It's not that I vaped it more than anything else, because I haven't. A couple 120s of it. I mean, I've vaped more Spaceman and Mont Blanc than anything else. But for some reason, I can really pick up the, the, the flavor and the notes in it. And there's some RDAs, I really get that nice lemon taste. And there's sometimes I just get, the, I get that like cake taste, like the crust taste. With this RDA, I got both. I could taste the cake and I could, it really did taste like a lemon pie, like it was intended. Not saying it's better or worse than how it normally tastes, but it just tastes different. I could really pick up all the notes on it. So that's one cool thing about this RDA. Mm -mm 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 -mm. The power of suggestion. All right, here we go. John, and clear. I heard keto farts have more grease in them than illicit. THC cards. So the CDC, for those keeping score at home, the CDC finally admitted that it was THC cartridges, but they're like not publicizing it. They're just like, oh yeah, you know the, the illnesses that was killing everybody? We told everybody not to vape. Well, we found out it was 93% had THC, used THC vape cartridges, at least admitted they had. The rest just, the other 7% just didn't admit it. So yeah, they finally did. That's just such bullshit. It's too little too late. It's too little too 30 people died because they wanted to push their agenda and get rid of vaping so they could push a tobacco profit. It's fucking bullshit. Sir Loki, what's up, dude? How you doing? Swaggins. What's up, brother? Good to see you. I haven't trusted my arse for over a decade. When I drank, oh my God. I never, man, that was, I'll tell you, drinking like chronic alcoholism really fucks your stomach up. Oh my God, your digestive system is just a wreck. Oh my God, all the time. Disaster pants. Stan, Stan says, check your messenger now. Which message, my Facebook messenger? Oh, I've got eight messages. He didn't send me a message. Oh, he sent a photo. Oh, okay, okay. Black Friday. This is from lucidrda.com. I actually posted this, Stan, in my Patreon the other day. Um, lucidrda.com, Black Friday, October sale. With code Black October, you're going to get 40% off your, off your purchase. 40% off your purchase. On You can get a new Keen, a new Dreamer, Ardent. Another Lucid RDA, whatever you want. You get 25% off uh, using Get It Now. Discounts for selected items October 20th, which was three days ago, until October 27th. So that's till the end of the week. Guys, get over there and check it out. All hardware is on sale. Codes are Black October and Get It Now. Get It Now. Stan, check your pants. Checked messenger. Agreed. What am I missing here? Glad I could help there, Charlie. What are you doing there, Mr. Whalen? Mr. Whalen's here to see us. Hey, Whalen. Come here, buddy. You want to come up here? Whalen. Come up here. You want to come up here? Cool. Come on. Whalen. Now you don't want to come up here. When I'm not paying attention to you, you don't want to come up. You want to come up here. And then when I'm paying attention to you, you walk away. Just like, just like, cats are like women. When you give them attention, they, they, they ignore you, they 
play games. But when you when you when you don't give them attention, when they when they want you, that's what I've learned in my forty five years. I'm almost forty six. Got a birthday coming up here pretty soon. Suppose I have a birthday party. I'm not. I don't like birthday parties. I don't like having attention brought on myself at like parties and stuff like that. Like I do not like that at all. It makes me feel weird, like awkward as fuck. Like I'm gonna I'm supposed to do something. Like I'm supposed to dance. You gonna dance for us now? Yeah. Hey, it's my party. I'm dancing. Like I don't want to do that. I don't want to be the dancing party guy, the dancing birthday boy. It's not me. I just want to be the guy who gets left the fuck alone on his birthday. Grady, get it now. It's forty percent. It says. There you go. Okay. Well, one of them's. Well, it says here, uh, get it now. It's twenty five, and I don't know. One of the two. Use them both. Fuck it. Keep buying stuff. Hey, Gunther, what's up, man? How you doing? Hi, Waylon Jennings. How you doing, buddy? You want to get up here? You want to get my lap? That would be the best place for you. I'm going to just pet you. Oh, hi, handsome man. He's ornery as fuck. Herb Williams! Birthday expo for me. Is your birthday too, Jane? Your birthday coming up? That's awesome. <laughs> made this party at customer service i love going to walmart i love walmart i know walmart like people like hate on it and shit but it's got everything everything there that i need and i pretty much know where everything is i got all the important stuff like bacon socks i know where all that stuff is I don't know what's going on up there. I think Veronica. Hold on a second. Let's talk to Veronica. Veronica! Yeah. What's going on? Dinner. You're making dinner? Yeah. Okay. What you making? Tacos. You making tacos? Yeah. Thank you. I love that. I'm a Scorpio. Yeah, I'm a Scorpio. I don't buy baseball cards anymore. I stopped. I stopped buying baseball cards. I, I told you. Veronica, literally, I thought she was going to kill me. She should tell you the story. I thought she was going to kill me at Walmart. I really did. Like, I was, like, panicking. Like, what do I do if this if this person, like, starts attacking me? Like, she's going to get arrested. I'm going to call the police. I would call the police on her if she attacked me. I would. I don't put up with that. Fake tits. What? <laughs> fake tits. What is fake tits? Sweet swags. Bacon tacos? No, we're having uh, we're having just regular beef tacos, I think. Sell vape pods outside to kids waiting for good. God, man, I think that's what like a lot of these like paved moms think we're all like. We're all like vape pushers or something, pushing items to kids or something. I don't know. I'd be the biggest bitch for calling, dude. I uh, yeah, yeah. Look, men get abused too, Charlie. Men get abused by women, too. Yeah, I don't know. I'd probably, I'd probably would. It depends. It depends. If it, if I felt like I was gonna retaliate, I would definitely call the cops. Like, cause I don't want that to happen. But I'd probably just leave and call the cops. Leave. <laughs> there's a, there's a violent person in this house. Give my address and then just drive away. <laughs> Coming from a doodle head. A duty head. <laughs> Meyer. We have a Meyer too, sick boy. My town. A Meyer. It's really nice. The Meyer's like high class. It's also more expensive than the Walmarts. I think we're getting a Target too. Like my town is really blowing up. It's time to move. It's getting ready to be time to move further out. I'm abused. Love it. I'm in my wife. My wife. I'm in an abused relationship. <laughs> Says Stan. <laughs> there, the chat is going crazy right now. There's some. There's some. Uh, there's some crazy stuff going on in chat. 
<laughs> Throw a mushroom stamp on her and be out. <laughs> Battle rap herb. Not really. Not really. Um, some. I, I used to watch some on YouTube. Battle rap. But not really so much anymore, man. I, um, I'll, I'll be honest. Some of the newer stuff is growing on me a little bit. My son listens to a lot of newer stuff, like Post Malone and stuff like that. It's more, you know, it's not really so much hip hop. It's more like pop. It's more pop music than anything. But uh, it's, it's not bad. It's not bad. Not as bad as I used to. Like the um, mumble rap. I used to think this was god awful. I don't mind it as much now. Um, but I try. To, I try to listen to everything. I try to listen to everything. Lando! What's going on, dude? Lando Calbrissian. She has G.I. Joe Kung Fu grip. <laughs> oh, what's wrong, buddy? Jane will visit me. Yes. I wish Jane would visit. That would be a fun time. We would have a blast. I dropped a sick battle rap in the YouTube comments, and the bitch ass South erased it. What? Somebody erased your battle rap? Mumble rap is god awful. <laughs> you know, man, it's it's pretty bad. I mean, you know, I mean, my generation. I grew up in like hip hop's heyday. You know, I mean, I was eighteen when uh, Ready to Die. Well, I was nineteen when Ready for Ready to Die came out. And Ill Illmatic came out same year. You know, Jay dropped uh, the Black Album like right after that. I mean, it was like I, I, you know, I mean, I can't. I grew up in like the heyday of that. The Tupac, All Eyes on Me was right around that time. Doctor Dre, The Chronic. So that was like, you know, that was like back when I was a kid, and that's what I grew up on. <laughs> Fake riffraff. <laughs> Same words are for pussies. It's <laughs> for the next person who talks about Star Wars. You don't like Star Wars? I love Star Wars. But I don't want that nine and a half up my butt, I'll tell you that. Back into the battle rap. Yeah, there's some really good some really good ones. Absolutely. Um I I'm gonna play a video of the uh, uh my favorite battle rap of all time. I'm gonna play it. How much time do I got? I got twelve minutes, so I can play this. I have to find it. I'll find it though. Here it is. Here it is. All right, let me pause it. It's four minutes and 31 seconds. I don't know if I'll play the whole thing. You'll want me to, though. All right, here we go. Laptop monitor, too. Hey, there. It's me again, your boy Marvo, and I'm back around to a behind mic freestyle battle. We have two new contestants, South Mariah and your boy Eli from Eli. Class 2005. We also That's have the bus, right Jonathan Hodges, J Dub, Jeremy Walker, and Steven Jackson, Action Jackson. Action Jackson. Over over at the judges table. Y'all already know the rules, so we ain't gonna waste no time on Why that. Why guys um, arms around them like that? But look, y'all will have 45 seconds. Please stop when I tell you, or else you will be disqualified. It is the All right, let's get it going. That's Eli. We're gonna start things off with your boy right here, Envy. Let's go. Go, Envy. Envy's gonna go. That guy's belt. Yo, uh -huh. it's your boy Envy. Okay, uh huh. Yeah, uh huh. Yo, uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Yo. 
Yo, the words got you talking, cripple. My advice to Eli is to start rapping, stick to walking, cripple. Young cat freestyle so high. I've been up on the blocks, never selling rocks, but I still got what I got. I'm squad up like Little Wheezy. Get busy off the flow so you can say I'm off the hazy. Anybody want it, they can get it. Never rap with a stutter. I'm so nice that I could have been marvelous, brother. Get me right on the platter. Okay, so the guy on the left is obviously uh, impaired in some fashion. But the guy on the right here, Envy, um, he's got on jean cargo shorts. And they're long, so I'm not really too sure about all that. And he sucks. He literally sucks. Like, that's the worst rap. He called him a cripple twice, and it didn't even rhyme. Unstatter here and cast off average cat knocking them off never with the gas I run up on the strap they like right yeah you need he to stop talking head, like, junk but I gotta run stop. up on a cat with the pump yeah man what happened to his belt Eli what happened to your belt huh? up next we have Eli from the class of 2005 class let's go 2005 Eli he graduated. Here we go. Yeah, I got one question, man. Tell me who next. This nigga salt like a nigga who just getting the best. See, I'm the best, man. I did it. <laughs> He's the best. He did it. He messed up. Eli. Ooh, what's up there, Eli? <laughs> oh, he's getting excited. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I'm gonna let you know who the best by the hour. He's like Rosie O'Donnell. At a bisexual bridal shower. It ain't nothing in oh. me, man. I keep it for real. Look at this dental man with dental the grill. See, I'm the best. I told you that. This dude like that, he ran in front of the cat. Now I messed up, but I'ma stay on top. They told me, man, but you know, I'm never gonna flop. Look at this dude, he need to stay in the shade. Ain't no wonder why he came out. He already in the gay parade. Oh I told you, man, I got you. Roast it like ever. You don't know what my rhymes, they straight up clever. So you step down off the pedestal. I'm the best man. You need to go to the fucking dick toe. So they put a heart around him. There's a heart. <laughs> I said freak. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Alicia. It's a white man. Alicia. He said about All right, as you can see, that was a great. It had to be. Bridal shower with Rosie O'Donnell. How do you beat that? That's impossible to beat. Whenever somebody tells you you're a bisexual, a bridal shower with Rosie O'Donnell, don't even say anything back. You're fucking beat. How many people? I know there's nobody watching now. Yeah, everybody left as soon as I play it. This, and this video is probably going to get uh, flagged and banned, too. So sorry about that, Johnny. I'll try to cut this out. Dear God. <laughs> He's looking up for Jesus. He was looking for Jesus. That's my favorite rap battle of all time, Herb. Herb, that's it. <laughs> all right, what time is it? 54. All right, guys, I'm going to get out of here, go upstairs and eat some tacos. Hope everybody has a fantastic evening. Great night tonight. You've got Never Heard of Them with Johnny Drips and Heavy Metal Vapor, the creators of the Ohana RDA. Join in. I'll be in the chat hanging out over there. Then 1030, you have Golf Tee Vapes. I'll be in the chat hanging out. Hope to see everybody there. Hope everybody has a fantastic night. We're off tomorrow, but we are back on Friday with the Vape Hot Tub. Me, Charlie, and probably Stan, maybe? I don't know. Maybe Stan? We'll see. Love you guys. Hope you guys have a fantastic night. I will see you tomorrow or Friday. Vape at five. Be good.